Hey, what's up guys? So we will be using Katie's Bubbles today. I'll kind of get into this soap a little bit. Um, this is from the, what does it say? Maggard Razors 2019 Meetup, June 1st, 2019. Um, Chris McCullen, I think, um, actually, you know, obviously is the owner and founder of uh, Katie's Bubbles. Um, so he, I didn't know what this base was. This is, the, they have two different bases, say, uh, Katie's Bubbles. They have like their normal base, which is what I have my burger, um, my Barnegat Bay in, and then they have the cream type base, which is their quote unquote luxury base, a bit more ingredients and whatnot. It performs a bit better for me, but both of their bases perform great. Um, so that's what we, that's what we'll be using today. I don't know what the synth this is. I think he, he did tell me, I just don't remember what it was. Um, one of the abbreviated ones like LTR or whatever it is, it's one of the abbreviated since um, I don't have the matching splash for that, so we're just going to go with uh, Deep Blue Sea from Sterling. Awesome, awesome scent. This is based on, is it Blue de Chanel? I don't know who it's based on, but it's a very, very nice cologne type scent. We will put on some pre shave. Let's go ahead and do that now. This is the Cube by PAA. I'm just going to go ahead and wet uh, my whiskers here. We have a bit of growth, you can tell. Just got out the shower a couple minutes ago. I had to let the uh, mirror that I'm actually going to be looking into and shaving, I had to let that kind of like deglaze, dehumidify because obviously I got in the shower and it got very steamy in here. So with a PAA, you definitely do not need a whole lot with the cube. Um, this is the mentholated. So you can see right there, it shows a little mentholated on the sticker on the box. And um, yeah, my eyes water when I use this, um, which is a good thing, you know. Uh, to cry every now and then. <laughs> so, it also kind of darkens up your whiskers. I don't know if you can tell that or not. I think it has active charcoal in there, so that's why it does that. All right, we're going to use the Murica Razor, sent by LP. And thank you, LP. I, I know I've said thank you every single time I use it, but man, this thing is awesome. It has a little magnet on the bottom for picking up the blade. We're using a Wilkinson sword. This is from the Saloon Pack. Um, I think this is the second or third use. I've used it a few times. So, this is a three-piece razor. Top cap, base plate, and handle. So let's see. Hope everyone is uh, doing extremely well. Everyone in this household, you know, luckily and thankfully, are doing extremely well uh, health wise. So it's always something to be thankful for. Uh, for the brush, I have soaking in my beautiful Mount Fuji mug from Alex. Uh, we have the Omega. I'm going to wring this brush out. <clears throat> the Omega Pro uh, 48, I think it's 10048 is the actual call sign to this. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and open up our Katie's Bubbles and stick this huge brush in there. This bore knot. Now, like I said, this is kind of a cream and it's a very dense cream. You do not need to create a whole lot lather like you do in tubs with Katie's Bubbles. At least that's my experience with this. I've overloaded with this. Shoot, darn near every time I've used it. So, I think that's good. <laughs> I probably just overloaded with it again, but that's okay. Better to have more than enough than not enough. We'll just paint it on, and then we'll start. We'll start scrubbing some water in. It has been cold here. Um, for several days, it was like 60s, 70s, and then just making sure I'm getting all of my little spots covered before I start adding water and kind of scrubbing everything, make sure everything's kind of covered with lather. Okay, cool. I think we're good. I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the bristles here. I'm just going to dunk the whole thing, actually. So yeah, for several days here, it was... It was well over 65 degrees, and now, outside right now, the wind chill is 24. I know that's not cold to some of you, probably a lot of you, if you live up north or whatever, but in the south where I live, 24 wind chill, oh my goodness. So something funny, tomorrow's Friday. There's supposed to be some winter weathery mix tonight. Basically just some sleet, 
possible snow. It's not going to stick to the ground. Um, this happens every couple of years where, you know, we'll have a little bit of rain during these extremely cold, well, to me, it's extremely cold weather. You know, 25, 24, 23 degrees Celsius. And I'm sorry, Fahrenheit. And um, so what is that? Minus six, minus seven Celsius. Anyway. So, yeah, we'll have, you know, a little bit of rain that or precipitation that falls and then it's obviously super cold, so it turns into snow that, you know, you'll wake up and it'll be a little bit on the mailbox or something, nothing big, um, or some sleet. Now, the thing in the South is we don't have snow tires. We don't have the equipment, like our states don't have the equipment. They're not prepared to salt the roads. Um, our roads here are bad in the first place, so when you have potholes that have that are retaining water because it rained four days ago and it's just been super, you know, the clouds have been, um, the, over, the overcast has been super heavy. So there has been no sun. So even though it hadn't been super cold, the rainwater hadn't evaporated out of these puddles. So then, you know, it becomes free or under freezing temperatures and everything freezes now. And so um, basically schools are canceled, work is canceled <laughs> when, when stuff like that happens in the uh, Southern states. I don't know about Texas, but I know for sure Mississippi, Louisiana, um, Alabama. So, but yeah, very, very nice lab. You can tell it's nice and dense. I have a brush load here. So let's go ahead and clean up a little bit. Get the shaving. I had uh, a couple things I wanted to get done tomorrow um, on my lunch break. Wanted to get my hair cut. Wanted to uh, drop a package off at UPS. Um, and, uh, there was something else. What else did I want to do? There's something, I, oh, I wanted to go to the, uh, wanted to go to Winn-Dixie and get some, um, um, some items, food. Uh, and anyway, so tomorrow will not be. A day that I'll be able to do that. I just find it crazy that up North, you guys would laugh. At us taking off days of work and. That type of stuff just for, you know, just for a little bit of like cold weather. You know, they call them hazardous conditions here. And I'm sure they're happy. I mean, look at the, um, shoot, I was watching a YouTube video a while back. And I think it was in New York. There was a hill that you were, uh, that they were driving down in New York. And, you know, it had snowed or whatever. And so I guess ice on the road and people couldn't stop their vehicles down this hill. And so you just had a huge pileup of vehicles just crashing in each other one after the other down this hill. And, you know, I would think New York is much more prepared to deal with that type of stuff than a uh, southern state. And if they're still having those issues, then it's probably wise that, you know, our state kind of, or at least the south portion of our state kind of closes down. Makes sense to me. This razor is aggressive without feeling super aggressive. I was um I was asked by the razor company to um, make a couple of videos for them. Which is pretty cool, you know. Uh, I guess I'm... I guess I've been in the community long enough where... You know, they, they see that I've been uploading videos for two and a half, three years, whatever it's been. Consistently, at least somewhat consistently. And, uh, you know, they know I'm not just a fly-by-night, so... Jason over there had uh, emailed me. Actually, we, we were talking on Instagram initially, but then he emailed me asking if I wanted to just create some videos for them, you know, with using their products. I was like, yeah, absolutely, man. So I have I have several products that they already have. Um, so I'm not going to have to buy anything um, immediately, but I will end up having to get some stuff, some new stuff. So that's good for the channel, at least, you know, for you guys on my channel, you'll have some updated uh, soaps and splashes and maybe some hardware from me. Um, Cause you know, I'm very frugal when it comes to, you know, 
at least recently, very frugal when it comes to spending money on soaps because I have so many. I have so many soaps, I have so many splashes, I have so many uh, razors, although not a whole lot compared to some, but I still have a lot, you know? I have a lot more than I need. And um, so therefore I don't necessarily like to go out and spend. Um, so anyway, so this will give me the opportunity to kind of get some new stuff by working for it, but not um, spending any uh, budgeted money in my monthly budget. I'll still spend money, but it won't be an, ab an absorbent amount. So it'd be nice. Use some products, etc. Checked out their website. There's a lot of stuff on there. A whole lot. I can't believe. Um, I mean, they have a ton of stuff on, on their website. It's phenomenal. Like, the vast majority of the soap makers, the artisans, are on there, which I thought was phenomenal. Hmm. This Wilkins and Swords kind of, not tugging, but I can tell it's not cutting as cleanly as it <laughs> as it once was. Because these are typically very sharp for me. They do a phenomenal job on their initial shave. But um seems like it's a little less efficient now. I have these Subway gift cards that I got from... Uh, from Christmas that I also planned on, that was, that was the fourth thing, uh, from Christmas that I also planned on going to uh, use and get some Subway tomorrow for lunch. I don't need Subway. I, I probably had Subway once in the past five years. Like I don't get Subway that often. Um, but I have the gift card, I have the gift cards, so I was gonna go pick up, you know, or lunch with myself something and the wife something and have the baby boy kind of eat off of each of ours, you know, and, um, but that's not going to happen. So I kind of wish that, uh, like, yeah, I kind of get a day off of work. Not really though. I still have to work, just work remotely as opposed to, to going to the office, which is nice. It's a nice break, you know, but, uh, I kind of wish there was no winter weathery mix and I could actually go into the office and do the other things that I wanted to do to, uh, tomorrow. So. Supposed to be extreme. Like a lot of people are getting sick down here as well. Um, just with common colds or flu. Um, because of the weather. Just inconsistent. It's just. Like I said, it's, it's like 60 to 70 one day and then it goes to 30 the next day. And it's like, my goodness. Your body can't keep up, you know? <laughs> there was a funny post somebody posted on uh, Facebook that was like, yeah, if you live in the South right now, it's like you wake up and you are in... I'm trying to use every bit of this lather here. You wake up and you're in your, you know, you're in your long johns, you, you're in your extremely warm coats and that type of thing, gloves, hats, whatever. By lunchtime, you're in your tank top and your short, you know, your jean shorts, and then, <laughs> and then by the time you're you're leaving work, going back to the house, you're back in the cold weather stuff, and it's like, yeah, that's that's very accurate to some extent. I love the cold weather. There's a whole bunch of benefits to the cold weather, in my opinion. I prefer cold weather above warm weather. I do. Um, not everybody's like that. I am. <laughs> so, yeah, I just prefer the colder climate. Uh, one of the main reasons is there are no bugs. You know, I can go outside. And I know that's kind of weird. Like, you know, I love the winter because no bugs. But that's the absolute truth. 
You know, I can go outside at any point in time in the evenings or at night and not have to worry about getting swarmed by mosquitoes and coming inside, scratching my legs, my arms, my face for like five hours after and, and having whelps on my face and everything from scratching. So that's the major thing. And, you know, I, I've always looked at it logically like this. You can always, in the winter, you can always warm up if you have a job outside or if you have to go out to go to the store or whatever you can always wear enough clothes to stay comfortably warm i mean you may not be you know 90 something degrees you know but you'll, you'll be comfortable in the winter you i'm sorry in the summer you cannot you don't have an, a, an ac unit that you can build around you and walk around with so in like 100 degree weather for me that's uncomfortable so, I don't know, I've, I've just always preferred, I've always preferred summer, uh, I'm sorry, winter over summer. Probably more than you guys wanted to know, huh? I don't know, what the heck, I must have cut the heck out of myself. I have a bump right here. I had um, an ingrown hair there yesterday, yesterday that I pulled out. And this morning when I woke up, this may be TMI, I don't know. But this morning when I woke up, I had a little white dot there. And I was like, okay, well, I know what happened. And I pulled the hair out and it just filled in with whatever. So, man. Um, so, yeah, that was yesterday. That was uh, yesterday morning. And uh, apparently, it, I mean, there's no, there's nothing weird about it now. It looks normal, but um, it's still a bump, I guess. still has the whatever under the skin so it it was cut oh well it'll be okay well this water is freezing I definitely have a, a more appreciative look on um, <laughs> hot water heaters because my goodness in the winter I take a lot more baths and it's not because I'm more dirty in the winter or that I even need to take more baths it's just I like the warm water um, it's fun to go outside and, you know, cook on the barbecue or do whatever in the yard, whatever, during the winter, and then come inside and take a warm bath. I don't know, just that I've always liked that as a kid as well. So I have a lot of things that are kind of in my head, like intermingled why I like the winter. Uh, Deep Blue Sea by Sterling. Oh, very nice scent. Another thing is you don't have to cut grass. That's a big thing down here in the south. Mm. We're going to get another shot of that because that is excellent. Yeah, grass cutting down here, especially if you have fences and, you know, shrubs or greenery, trees. Not only do you have to mow the lawn, but you also have to weed eat. We call it weed eating in the south. I think you guys up north call it weed whacking. Same thing though, you use the weed eater, whatever. And um, you know, that could take a lot of time, you know? And especially down in the south, the grass grows here. If you don't cut it every single week, um, it'll be knee high before you can, you know, say mother. And you know, I've done that a couple times where I didn't cut it. And it's gotten knee high. And then, you know, the mowers have an issue struggling going through the grass and et cetera, et cetera. It's a problem. So you got to keep up with it. In the winter, the grass is dead. It's awesome. Anyway, guys, that's the shave. I know I've rambled the entire shave. I don't know. I don't know if that is, is, is better for you guys, me rambling and just keeping the conversation moving and whatnot. Or if it's worse and you just want me to shut up and shave. I don't know. But you can let me know in the comments. <laughs> anyway. Katie's Bubbles, uh, this was the, again, Maggot Razor 2019 Meetup Soap. Um, probably have another four, five, six, seven shaves out of that. Because you don't need a whole lot. Like I said, that's a very dense cream. So, uh, uh, I think the next shave is going to be with Chela Crema de Baba. But, um, as you know, my scent on this is gone. Because I left it out uh, too long, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, my next shave will be with that probably in a day or two. But that shave, I'm going to send that to Jason so he can put it on the uh, the, the razor company, uh, the 
the Razor Company's website. Um, so it won't go up, it won't go live on mine. Um, they all have full rights to that video, uh, which makes sense. That's how most people do do it whenever you're you know promoting stuff. But uh, anyway, that's it, guys. That's the shave. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is. It's hard to call it my favorite razor that I have right now. The Rockwell 6S, I'm sorry, 6C, thanks to LP, um, is probably my favorite. Actually, you know what? That is my favorite. This is a very, very close second. Um, <laughs> coincidentally, both came from it. Well, not, I bought this, I bought the 2C. LP gave me the other plates to make it the, the 6C. But uh, anyway, this will be the last time for this blade because it's, not as sharp as I'd like it. But yeah, this, this Murderker razor is phenomenal. And I think you can get it without the um, the flag there if uh, you don't want the American flag on the on the uh, top cap here. Um, there may be some other logos too you can get at, at this point. I don't know. But uh, I, th I th thought it was pretty cool that they have the flag there. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, you can leave a comment down below if you think I rambled too much or whatever. Like I said, I'll try to keep it moving. Try to keep it somewhat entertaining although i don't think i'm personally entertaining at all um but at least i try to like i don't know incorporate what's going on in my lot what's going on in my life and sometimes i speak too fast and mumble over my words and you may not understand what i'm saying and blah 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 but i try <laughs> so anyway hope you guys have a great uh great friday hope you have a great well this might not be uploaded on friday it might be uploaded on saturday but anyway hope you have a great weekend and uh i'll see you guys for the next shave